English grammar for 11th standard active and passive voice now we are going to learn about active and passive voice first content uh, let us see that the content voice active voice passive voice sentence structures passive of imperative sentences forms of passive verbs general rule according to tense examples activity review so okay, just go through it one by one first voice what is the voice first we should know about the voice voice is the quality of a verb which indicates whether the subject act or is being acted upon so we have two uh, two types of voice one is active voice another one is uh, passive voice active voice what is the active voice the voice used to indicate that the grammatical subject of the verb is performing the action or casing the happening denoted by the verb for example the boy hit the ball the boy hit the ball so this is active uh, when you write in the active voice uh, then we can use the subject verb object that's sentence structure okay from active to passive how will you change the ball was hit by the boy was hit why do you want to use was hit because verb main verb is simple past if we have simple present we can use auxiliary verb is or are otherwise if you have main verb is simple past so auxiliary verb was plus third form of verb so whenever you change from active to passive verb should be past participle so that's uh, rules and regulation we know that okay active voice is appropriate active voice adds clarity and places responsibility where it belongs so that uh, and places responsibility where it belongs um, this adds clarity Active voice can make our writing more vivid. Yes, voice can make our writing more vivid. Passive voice. What is the passive voice? The voice used to indicate that the grammatical subject of the verb is the recipient of the action denoted by the verb. For example, the ball was hit. Uh, what did you learn from that active voice? The ball was hit. Okay. Uh, the ball was hit by the ball the ball was hit by the boy was hit by the boy passive voice is appropriate if the action is more important than the agent if the agent is not known to connect ideas in different classes or sentences more clear clearly sentences more clearly sentence structures construction of the active voice subject plus verb plus object subject plus verb plus object okay what is the subject do here verb main verb and then object that is a sentence structure active voice cat eat fish cat eat fish construction of the passive voice subject auxiliary verb that is b form verb plus main verb past participle what is the main verb past participle for example fish is eaten by cat fish is eaten so why do you want to use eaten because eat that simple present so actually the verb be form verb we want to take is because subject is singular no so you can use this fish is eaten by cat subject plus modal verb plus auxiliary verb that is be form verb plus main verb past participle for example fish must be eaten by cat fish must be eaten by cat so this one a uh, model verb so what is the model verb here actually verb must be so this like also we can change for so, fish must be eaten by cat next active voice and passive voice models how to change from active to passive let us see that should take active uh, that passive voice should be taken can take active voice can be taken passive voice who take would be taken passive voice may take may be taken might take active might be taken passive voice must take must be taken passive act to take act to be taken passive so this is models only so how to change from active to passive passive of imperative sentences 
if you have that imperative sentences passive of imperative so how will you change commands what is the imperative first we should know about it command order request advice so these are imperative okay commands let plus subject plus be not past participle active shut the door so that's one command so how will you change passive we have to as per rule you have to use the beginning of the sentence let and then the door sub let the subject the door subject then be past participle what is the verb here shut 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 okay so past participle third form of verb let the door be shut again i repeat shut the door command active passive voice let the door be shut next request active kindly helping kindly help him so this one request you are request to help him so this one conjunction to here the uh, this to help that infinity we have learned no so to help him you are request to help him uh, form of passive voice verbs the passive voice requires a double verb linking verb am is on was were be being been so this is a double verb the main verb in the form of past participle the main verb in the form of past participle so past participles must when you change into from active to passive past participle actually verb plus past participle verb whatever it is but verb is verb must past participle verb should be past participle okay. often passive voice sentences will contain a preposition by from active to passive how will change that pronoun nouns i change to by me we changes to by us you changes to by you he changes to by him she changes to by her it changes to by it they changes to by them sham by changes to by sham so this uh, nouns how to change the pronoun uh, when you change it to passive voice so we can change it easily general rule according to tense uh, tense first we have to identify that what kinds of tense form take takes so simple present take takes also simple present so how to change passive is taken or taken because take is singular consider as singular so is taken takes plural so consider as plural so are taken present continuous am taking is taking or taking so if you have present continuous that active voice he is writing a test writing he is writing a test a test is being written by him so for example i am taking is taking or taking so if you are auxiliary verb or uh, you can use or being if you have auxiliary verb is is being plus past part past participle verb should be past participle when you change into passive voice from active to passive okay next present perfect has taken have taken the differentiate already we have know that has where will you use and how where will you use has it refers for third person singular and how it belongs to first person and uh, second person and subject is plural you can use how okay passive voice has been taken have been taken has been taken have been taken you can use that from from active to passive Uh, tense simple past active voice took passive voice was taken uh, were taken so what is the past participle of to taken simple past if you have it i took the book the book was taken by me they took the book the book the they took the books okay the books were taken by them so where and was differentiate we should know about it was it singular and where you can use subject is plural means you can use where so was taken where taken is passive voice past continuous how did you learn present continuous the same rule there is an r but here was and where was taking where taking was being taken they were being 
be taken he was writing a test for example he was writing a test a test was being written by him okay he was taking the book the book was being being taken by him okay were taking were being taken okay past perfect had plus v3 had plus third form of verb okay how will you change passive voice had been taken so how did you learn present perfect have been always has been plus third form of verb so here had been plus third form of verb past perfect okay simple future will take will be taken shall take shall be taken okay simple future i'm going to take a cake she is going to take two cakes they are going to take a cake cake is going to be taken by me two cakes are going to be taken by her cake is going to be taken by them so we can use future perfect will have taken will have been taken will have taken future perfect so when you change into from active to passive future perfect will have been taken okay times for examples let's practice my uncle looks after me i am lo looked after by my uncle someone must have stolen the necklace the necklace must have been stolen by you inform the police let the police be informed the boys are running a race a race is being run by a race is being run by the boys okay review is a quality of your verb which indicates whether the subject acts or is being acted upon active voice the voice used to indicate that the grammatical subject of the verb is performing the action or casing the happening denoted by the verb passive voice the voice used to indicate that this grammatical subject of the verb is the recipient of the action denoted by the verb sentence structure construction of the active voice subject plus verb plus object construction of the passive voice what did we learn just we have to review subject plus auxiliary verb b plus main verb past participle passive of imperative sentence let beginning of the sentence beginning of the sentence let plus subject plus b plus past participle okay general rule according to tense simple present present continuous present perfect simple past past continuous past perfect simple future future perfect thank you